In this video I'm showing how to measure square footage on a set of design drawings. I'm going to show two ways to do this using the free version of Adobe Reader. And disregard for a moment that this set of prints has the square footage of the rooms shown plainly on the drawings. I'm using that intentionally just to show that this works. Alright, so onto the first and easiest method to measure square footage. If we look in the bottom left corner here you can see we have the scale. And the way to read this is 3 30 seconds of an inch equals 1 foot. So if we take a calculator and do 3 divided by 32 equals I get this decimal value. Just copy that. And then in Adobe Reader, go up to Find Text or Tools, search for Measure, select the Measuring Tool, right click in the PDF, click on Change Scale Ratio and Precision, paste the decimal value here. And again, since the scale says 330 seconds of an inch equals one foot, that's what we're going to enter here to calibrate the measurements. So I'm just going to change this value here to feet and then say OK. Alright, so now let's do a test measurement. I'm going to scroll up to this room in the top left corner of the building here. And the tool to measure square footage is this area tool here that looks like a hash triangle. I'm just going to click on that and then begin tracing a path around the room. Alright, so now if I select the pointer and then select my area, we can see here the value is 677.31 square feet, which matches almost exactly to the value that's on the prints. So this completes the first option of how to measure square footage. All right, for the second option, let's assume you're working with a set of prints that don't include the scale values down in the bottom corner. We can still use the measurement tool to get the square footage. To do that, I'm gonna zoom in on a doorway here. Go to Find Text or Tools, search for Measure. Select the Measuring tool again. Click on one side of the doorway, then drag the tool to the other side of the doorway. Click again and then click one more time to drop the measuring tool. And you can see here it thinks the doorway is 0.28 inches. And obviously we know that's not right. Doorways in commercial buildings are typically three feet. So again, I'm gonna right click on the PDF and again, select change scale ratio and precision. This time we're gonna say 0.28 inches equals three feet. And then say, okay. So now if I go right over to the room next door and measure that doorway, you can see it comes out at almost exactly three feet. And you don't have to use doorways for this. Really, you can use any span that you have a known length for. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and select the area tool again and go back to our room up in the top left corner and redo the measurement. This time we can see the measurement came out at 682 square feet, which is pretty close to the real world value of 677. Using something like a doorway to set scale is slightly less accurate, but it's probably good enough depending on what kind of problem you're trying to solve. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Hit like if it helped you out, and thanks for watching.